In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for silver nitrate and potassium chromate. So we have these rules here. They'll help us as we try to write the net ionic equation. First thing is we need to balance this molecular equation up here. So to do that, we could put a two in front of the silver nitrate, and it looks like a two in front of the potassium nitrate. And this equation would be balanced. After we've balanced our molecular equation, we need to write the states. So the reactants, they're going to be aqueous here in this case. And the products, if we look those up, we know that potassium nitrate, nitrates are very soluble. That's going to be aqueous. But if we were to look this up on a solubility table, this silver chromate, it would actually be a precipitate. It would be a solid. So it would have fallen to the bottom of the test tube when we react these two substances. OK, so we have our states. Now we need to figure out what the ions are so we can split the strong electrolytes, those are things with aqueous after them, into their ions. Let's take a look at the periodic table here, and we can see that silver, it's a transition metal. It's kind of special. It's always 1 plus. So that's the charge on silver. The nitrate, we don't see here. We could look that up on a table of common polyatomic ions. It's probably one you should memorize as well. It's 1 minus. Potassium, right here in group 1, has a 1 plus charge. And then this chromate here, we don't see it on the periodic table. It's a polyatomic ion. We could look that up. That has a 2 minus ionic charge. And over here in the products, we're not going to write the ionic charges because this is a solid. It's not going to split apart into its ions. But we said potassium was plus and the nitrate had a negative charge. So we have the charges. So let's split them up. We have silver, Ag plus, and we have two of those. And I'm not going to write aqueous after each one. We'll do that at the end. Plus, we have the nitrate ion. That's at NO3 minus. This 2 applies to all of this. So we have two of those. Plus potassium, K plus. Little 2, the subscript, that means we have two of those. So we'll put a 2 up here. Plus the chromate, CrO4, 2 minus. And we have just one of those. So those are the reactants. For the products, we don't split the silver chromate up because it's a solid. So we'll just keep that as Ag2CrO4. And that's a solid plus potassium. There's two of those here plus the two nitrate ions. So this is what we call the complete or total ionic equation. These are all the ions for the things that are strong electrolytes that are broken apart into their ions, and then we have this solid here. So now we can cross out spectator ions. These appear on both sides of the equation. So we don't see a G on both sides as an ion, but we do see that we have two nitrates here and then in the products here. Let's cross those out. They've not changed. Two potassiums, two potassiums. Cross them out. But everything else, that's unique. So this gives us the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus K2CrO4. So we have two silver ions, we have our chromate ion, and then we have a silver chromate. Let's clean this up and write the net ionic equation down here. And this is the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus K2CrO4. Silver nitrate plus potassium chromate. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.